Hi there and welcome to this demo presentation. This video will be useful not only for beginners but also for experienced users. In this video I will guide you how to properly set up the project and show you how to use all the main tools SiteShaker has – dashboards, site audit and monitoring, rank tracker and backlink tracker in the most efficient way. Let's roll! As soon as you are on a homepage, first in order to start using the tool you will need to create your project. Enter your domain and follow all the next steps. The first step is to connect to a Google account. This will allow you to import the data from Google Analytics and Google Search Console into SiteShaker. This and the next step are not obligatory and can be skipped. However, it is better to set up everything in order to achieve the best results. The second step is to verify the ownership of the website. You can do this in three different ways. However, the easiest way is to connect your Google account to SiteShaker. If you did it in the previous step, it will be verified automatically. Such verifications will allow you to change the configurations of the robot.txt file for your crawling bot on our next step. Here in the site audit section, you can customize the settings for our crawler bot. You can change the configuration of the robot.txt file, indicate the preferred sitemaps and the number of pages to be crawled, and choose a specific filter for our bot, such as crawling subdomains or nofollow links. In the next step, you can set up site monitoring. This feature will allow you to automatically recrawl your website with the frequency you choose and generate the list of changes that were made within this period of time. On the fifth step, you will need to indicate the parameters by which you would like us to show you the information for your keywords and positioning. You can choose search engine, domain, which represents the country, language, city and the device. So a blank user agent will parse the data for your keywords based on the indicated parameters. Please mind that in order to track the statistics for different countries, languages and devices, you will need to create a separate project. The next step will offer you to add keywords. We have already generated some for you, however, you can add them manually one by one or import them in bulk using the import keywords button. If you don't have some in mind, you can use our research keyword step and we will find the following keywords. The keywords your website ranks for, long tail keywords for the cases when the client is closer to the point of purchase, related keywords, and the keywords your competitors rank for. All the keywords can be grouped and assigned to a specific URL for tracking. As soon as you add the keywords for tracking, it will take up to 20 minutes to collect all the data and show it in the Rank Tracker tool. Let's go to the next step, which is users and permissions. This is a really useful feature if you are working in team and you would like to share the project with your colleague or a client. After you add an email of the person you want to share the rights with and indicate the type of permission, he or she will get an email invitation to view your project. Just mind that the person you are sharing the rights to should be registered and have at least free account to access the project. The last step is notifications and reports. It is pretty straightforward. Here you can choose the notifications and reports you would like to receive to your email address. Also, I am glad to announce a new important integration in SiteShaker, it's Slack integration. With Slack, you can create a separate channel to get all alerts and reports and discuss any important updates and threats. As soon as we click finish, the crawling process will start. It may take from 2 to 20 minutes for the report to be generated depending on the number of pages your website has. Now, let's move to the main tools of SiteShaker. First goes Dashboard. Here we can see all the information integrated from our internal tools along with Google Analytics and Google Search Console in one place. There are a lot of different metrics, however, if you want to know the meaning of each of them, you can simply point on the info logo and see the quick description. The next goes our main tool, Site Audit. This report is generated after our bot crawls your website based on the configuration we've set up in the settings of the project. The summary screen is a starting screen on which you can see high-level stats about your website's issues and errors, quick info about the number of crawled and indexed pages along with your website score. All the issues are divided into four main sections. The criticals and warnings have an impact on your website score. Criticals are the issues that have a direct and crucial influence on your SEO. Warnings are the issues with a certain influence on your SEO, however, they have less value than criticals. The notices and opportunities do not influence your website score in the SiteShaker app. Notices are rather recommendations. They can help you to improve user experience, optimize your website and format it accordingly to the new general rules. Opportunities are meant to even better improve your website and smooth the look of your pages and user experience. Apart from that, 
We also have categories below that will help you to better understand and sort all the issues by the influence on the website and quick statistics with a percentage of the affected URLs by each category. Issue screen is your main screen for working with issues and fixing them. After you decide what issue you would like to fix, at first click on it and you will see all the pages affected by a specific issue or a filter. As an example, we will take the h1 hath other text inside filter. As soon as we are on the page with all the issues of the particular category, you can click on the view issue in code button and you will see where exactly this issue is located in the source code of the page. If you feel like you need some help in understanding a particular issue, you can always refer to our how to fix guides. There you will find a quick tutorial on each of them. Along with site level report, we have a page details report that can be accessed either directly from the list by clicking on the URL or if you need to check the specific URL, you can access the full list of the crawl pages from site audit report and find the needed one. On the page details screen, you see an in-depth analysis of the specific page on your website. The checks will include all the technical SEO issues we have found on this page, general information about URL, its content, images, how it's displayed in Google SERP, all the external and internal links, Google score for usability, and speed on desktop and mobile versions and more. We recommend checking your whole website with site audit and check the most important pages with page details report. Site audit report can be exported as a PDF, CSV files, and a Google Sheet. Also, you can export a sitemap of all the pages we have crawled. The next tool is site monitoring. This tool is based on the results from site audit and show you the log with all the changes on your website that our bot has detected. It compares the latest crawl with the previous one and show you all the new issues that appeared and the issues that were fixed. It will also show you if there is some content inside the page that was changed. It is really convenient to use it for tracking your growth. And if there is a sudden drop in your performance, you can always find what exactly was changed and triggered it. And Site monitoring will notify you if something critical happens, so you will be the first to know it. For example, you will get notifications when your website goes down or gets hacked, when the pages become hidden from the index or when some of them were deleted. Then goes Rank Tracker. It helps you to track your website's SEO ranking regularly and find out what of your actions led to growth and be the first to know when positioning changed significantly. With Rank Tracker, you can easily track how fixing your errors on your website improves your ranking. Rank Tracker daily parses search results for keywords you choose and show you unique data that you won't be able to find in Google Search Console. With it, you see real search results for a specific language, search engine, and country you choose while setting up the project. Here you can see a couple of graphs with the results. The first one will show you an overall trend for your added keywords. Below that, you can see the chart with all of the keywords and their positions day by day. At the moment, we provide two different chart options, Basic and Advanced. Basic combines all the necessary information in an easy and accessible format, which is ideal for beginners in SEO. Advanced is modular and can be configured to your liking. By clicking on columns, you can select from a variety of metrics that you would like to see. You can add columns like URL, position, one day, seven days, all the time rankings, compare to dates, target URL, group, and so on. By clicking on search button, you will see the positioning of your website and your competitors. And there you can even view a snapshot of what the actual user saw while searching for the requested keywords. You can change the target URL you want to see the positioning for by clicking on the link logo. The rent tracker report also can be exported. For this, you will need to select the keywords and choose the type of format you would like to export the data to. The next is a backlink tracker tool. The backlink tracker gives you a chance to monitor and analyze all the backlinks you have found or built for your website. It is important to highlight that the backlink tracker monitors the links you are knowledge of and doesn't search the web for new ones. First, you need to click on the Manage Backlinks button. There are two ways to add your backlinks to the tool. First one is add each of the backlinks manually one by one, or bulk import from the Excel file. In order to add a backlink manually, you will need to click Add new backlink and in the new window input date when it was created, acceptor and donor URLs. Acceptor is the URL of your website that the user will be heading to and donor is the URL where the backlink is located. 
To bulk import, you will need to click Import Backlinks. There you will be able to download the example file in order to format your data in the correct way. After you create an Excel file, you will need to import it into the tool and we will begin to scan your backlinks. It is a pretty simple tool with a limited number of columns, which makes it really easy to use. There is a total of 6 columns apart from the acceptor and donor URLs themselves. They will show you the information about the anchor, whether it's on page, whether it's indexed or cached, its relation, do follow or no follow, when it was posted and the date we have updated the information. The last tool, but not the least, is Insights tool. Here you can see the top 20 most valuable pages on the site. To define the list of these pages, we import metrics from Google Search Console and Google Analytics. There are a couple of columns with the data we have imported. They can be customized by clicking on Columns button. Also, you can click on the URL row and get a list of keywords you should work on first to increase the traffic to this landing page. That was it for the main tools. We have also some extra tools, however they are pretty limited and straightforward. If you are struggling with some of them, please let us know at support at and we will be glad to help you.